So Cory Booker responded to the Bernie Sanders question about felons voting rights. Um, let's see how he dealt with this. About in your justice for all plan, you favor, you've long worked on justice, uh, uh, criminal justice issues. You want to give convicted felons the right to vote. As I'm sure you know, Senator Sanders has said they should not only have the right to vote when they're released from prison, they should have that right while they're incarcerated. Do you agree with him? I, I just think that that is a frustrating uh, debate that we seem to now be having. As a guy who lives in an inner city black community and knows that there are millions of Americans that are being arrested and convicted and should never be there in the first and not only lose their right to vote but they lose their liberty let's get this conversation back to where it is right now our prison cop population in this country has gone up 500 percent since 1980 alone we locked up more people for marijuana in 2017 than all the violent crimes combined and so here we have a nation that takes away people's liberty and their right to vote for doing things that two of the last three presidents admitted to doing. So if Bernie Sanders wants to get into involved in the conversation about whether Dylan Roof and the Marathon Bomber should have the right to vote, my focus is liberating black and brown people and low-income people from prison because we have a system in America, as Brian Stevenson says, it treats you better if you're rich and guilty than if you're poor and innocent. My focus is tearing down the system of mass incarceration so that we don't even have to have the debate about people's voting rights because they're not going to prison in the first place. People that don't belong there are there, and I'm going to stop that as president. Fuck. God damn it. Ah, he did it. He did the right answer. He did the right answer. I, I, you know, I should stop giving my advice on air to candidates. I'm not saying he, he uh, got that from me, because honestly, a lot of strategists could have dissected that situation and came to the right conclusion. But um, that's the advice I've been given, everybody. Basically, you have to swat the question aside and say, listen, that's a gotcha question. That's a smear question. That's the whole point of asking that question. Here's who I'm really concerned about. All these nonviolent drug offenders who've been totally disenfranchised and they shouldn't have even been locked up in the first place. Two of the last three presidents admitted to doing these drugs and some people lose their voting rights and lose their freedom and their liberty as a result of this. This is crazy. No, I care about them and I want them to have the right to vote. That's the right answer, man. That's the right answer that will go over politically very well. And I love all my fellow uh, political commentators on the left here on YouTube and elsewhere, but um, I think that a lot of them missed the missed it on this one because it doesn't matter what you think what i think you know who we're holding to like the standard of objectively most leftist that's not what's happening here what's happening here is we're trying to win an election and in an election you got to go to where the people are okay it's not about yes bernie sanders is uniquely principled and that he'll always tell you exactly what he thinks and and perhaps in 50 years from now, we'll look back and say Bernie was prescient and, and he was ahead of the times talking about prisoners having the right to vote. But right now, it is a fact that that answer hurt him. It definitely hurt him. And uh, Cory Booker gave an answer here that's way more powerful. And bro, he slipped in Dylan Roof there. Oh, god damn, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that is a fucking gut punch to Bernie. Holy shit. As Bernie's like busting ass in the South and elsewhere, trying to do well in these predominantly African American Democratic voting states where he didn't do well last time in 2016. He's down there, he's giving rallies, he's having meetings, he's he's doing everything he can in order to win. And then in one fell swoop, Cory Booker comes out here and is like, All right, dog, you want to give Dylan Roof the right to vote? Pfft, whatever. I'm over here talking about nonviolent offenders, all right? Oh, uh, uh, look, my job is to be honest with you guys, and my job is to keep it real. And the reality of the situation is, <laughs> this, this was a devastating answer, and it was a solid answer, and it politically works, bro. It politically will work. Now, the upside is, Cory Booker's polling at negative 12%, and roughly four people have seen this interview of him. <laughs> and, and you guys are, he's seeing the interview, but then you're hearing the context of it, where I think uh, this was definitely a planned thing in Cory Booker's campaign that he delivered well. Like, it looks like it's off the cuff, like, all right, bro, you want Dylan Roof to vote? Whatever. Like, it looks like he's just saying it and he just came up with it. That's him and, like, eight strategists sitting in a in a meeting room and going, let's capitalize on this shit. How are we going to do it? And they did. They did. You know, who knows how big of a bump it's going to give them, but... um. <sighs> My advice to Bernie Sanders and his team, get off this fucking topic. 
And if you're forced to talk about this topic again, say what I just said. Say what Cory Booker just said. Listen, the question is a gotcha question. I'm not in a gotcha mood today. Bottom line is, I want, I care most about these nonviolent offenders. And then if they try to push you on it, and and Bernie it is incapable of lying, so he can't be like, no, I don't support that. But you can still deflect. If it's a question that shouldn't be asked in the first place, you're allowed to obfuscate and deflect. So if you want to obfuscate and just plant a seed, say to people, hey man, listen, if the Boston Marathon bomber gets cancer, should he, be able, should he get treatment? If he breaks his leg in prison, should we leave him there and just let, his, let him bleed out on the floor, or should we give medical attention? And then presumably whoever's asking the question will say, well, yeah, we should give care. And then Bernie can go, aha, so look at this, you want to give the Boston Marathon bomber care. How crazy is that? And then it's a way of getting to the core of what Bernie's point really is and what his position really is without just saying it. You don't want to just say it when 76% of Americans disagree with you. You're not going to win that fight. You're not going to swing the polls to fucking be majority with you in, you know, one soundbite. Not going to happen. Now, I admire Bernie for being so upfront and honest that he, like, is willing to try to shoulder that burden. But we're not playing checkers anymore, bro. You're the fucking front runner. It's time to play some chess. 90 to 95% of the time, your brutal honesty and upfront nature helps you because you're with the American people on those issues. When you're not, it hurts. So, I'm just saying. I'm here to be honest with you guys. I'm not here to come out here and play defense for Bernie and say every single thing he's ever said is right and it's politically genius. No. It's possible that sometimes his uh, sense of what's going to go over well politically isn't correct. Did you know that Bernie wrote an op-ed after that answer on this issue? And in the op-ed, he says, I believe in the right to vote, even for people like Paul Manafort and, you know, whatever, one of the other criminals, Michael Flynn. So he took some criminals from the Trump administration and said, I believe in the right to vote even for them. Bro, no, stop. Chill, chill. <laughs> no, no, no. Pump your brakes, bro. Pump your brakes. This is not the direction to go, dog. This is not the direction to go. So anyway, um, I don't know how much damage is done because <clears throat> at least Bernie, being Bernie, now he's out there still focused on all the issues. Stick to your bread and butter, dog, because your bread and butter gets everybody in the country on your side, and that's what we want. 